Determine the type of triangle that is illustrated above. So here we have a triangle and what we are told or what we can see is that two sides are of the same length based on the fact that we have a stroke on this side and a stroke on this side as well. So that implies that these two sides are the same length. If that is the case, then option D must be out. Why is that? Because option D is scalene and scalene means the three sides are all of different lengths. But we already recognize that two sides are of the same length. So it cannot be a scalene triangle. Okay, again, scalene triangle means all three sides are of different lengths. No two sides are of the same length. Now, isosceles mean we have two sides being the same, specifically. Equilateral mean all three sides are of the same length. Equilateral, equal lengths for all sides. Isosceles, only two sides have the same length. Obtuse angle simply means one of the angle is over 90 degrees. And looking at these angles definitely, even if it's not drawn to scale, we can definitely clearly see that these angles are all less than 90 degrees. So we know this option has to be out. So it's we're left to figure out, is it isosceles or is it equilateral? That depends on the length of this side. So let's go about looking at that. So I'm going to do a quick sketch of the triangle we're given, right? These two sides we're told are the same, so what we're going to do, I'm going to make a slit right here, because if these two sides are the same, that means when I cut it down here, I basically cut it into equal parts. And this is 90 degrees, as well as this angle here is also 90 degrees. Okay, and so this is 2 centimeters. This is also 2 centimeters. Now this height, this perpendicular height to the base, we're told is a square root of three centimeters. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we can actually extract that out and we can determine what this is. So we have square root of three for this length. This length here is two centimeters. And what we can do, we can use Pythagoras theorem to find this, this length here, this distance from here to here. That's what we have here, same thing here. Okay, so remember we're just extracting this side of the, or this half of the triangle. So using Pythagoras theorem, this is the right angle, so this will be our hypotenuse. And so we can use a formula, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. The hypotenuse is two centimeters. So we're gonna put two and raise it to the second power. Two here represents the value of the hypotenuse, which is given as c. Now this side is a hypotenuse, which is representing c. These two sides are the legs. So let's use x as this distance. And let's use this as a. So a is the square root of three. And so we're going to square A, or we're going to square the square root of 3, plus B. So we're taking B here as X, and square it. Now this will give us 4 equals, now square, when you square a quantity that's been square rooted, the square will cancel the square root, and so we're left with 3, plus X squared. And then what we're going to do, we're going to subtract 3 from this side, so we want to isolate x. So we've got to get rid of the 3 first. So we're going to subtract 3 from this side, leaving us with x squared. And we subtract 3 from this side as well. In other words, 3 has been transposed from plus 3 to minus 3. We get 1. That's x squared equal 1. Okay, what is the next step? Well, what quantity when squared give us 1? We have negative 1 when squared give us 1, and positive 1 when squared give us 1. But since we're talking about measurement, x has to be a positive 1. So it's positive square root we're looking at. So x equal 1. Now if x is 1, let's go back to this. So this is where x is. This is 1. 
that means this other half of the original triangle must also be 1. So this length is 1, this length is 1. So the entire length is actually what? 2. All right, remember it's been centimeters, we're talking about 2 centimeters. So obviously this triangle is an, this triangle is an equilateral triangle. 